business just doesn't come to you. You gotta go out and fight for business, especially when you're a small business, especially when you offer a specialized item and product. So today on this customer curation, we're going out to the Park Cafe and we are hoping to land a deal. So stick with me, Quinnell Dixon, dreamer, creative entrepreneur, dancer, choreographer, and your host of The Handmade Hustle. Hard. I'm bringing over some samples to them right now. Um, I'm gonna see if it's something that they are interested in. And we're just gonna go from there to see what we can service these people with. Because again, we're out here working, we're out here grinding. And I wanna show you guys that it doesn't just come to me. Sometimes you gotta go out and get the business. So stay tuned and we'll keep you guys updated. All right, so I'm filming this YouTube joint, all right? And if you don't mind, I'm gonna just like... Hey, what's up? <laughs> State your name for the camera. You don't Sean mind. Miller. Push. <laughs> so a couple of samples that I have are the snapback version, kind of like what he has on. Yeah, yeah. Um, don't mind the rope. This is just one that I found really quick. So I'll come over here, but this is actually pretty sick too. Um, that's a rope guy snapback. Um, that thing is actually pretty dope. It's really this deep. One has a rope. No rope, but it that, like that. If I try that really quick, try that one on. Yeah, I won't have a rope. We can. You like the rope? The rope is actually, it's a nice aesthetic. I think the rope idea is a double aesthetic. Right? Yeah, because it's like that 80s style. Yeah. So that guy is one sample. This is a five panel. So this actually has the same same form as that, just unstructured. Yeah. Um, and it's a leather strap back idea. I have a lot of them like that. Um, so those guys can go really well. I really like that. I'd like that way Yeah, so yeah. Or we can do without the rope. Yeah. We can do without the rope. So we can do just regular stuff. Yeah. Um dad hat traditional style yeah. dad hat. That's the one you already gave me. Yes. So there's that guy. And then there's that cadet hat. Yeah, I have so, seen that. Oh this shit is sick. So these cadet hats are really rad. A lot of them. People who go out into the mountains where they don't know why. Uh, this is just kind of like this is like the style that they wear. So this cadet hat is called a hybrid seven panel. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, this is a hybrid five. One, two, three, four, five. Hybrid five. This thing sells really well too. And it's a leather step back as well. Um, so yeah, I just brought a couple samples that I know sell really well that people like. Um, but this is familiar. To a dad hat, the difference though is this has more uh, attributes. Yeah. So, so I don't know, man. I mean, you just kind of let me know what we're thinking. Like that color, too. That color way is sick. Yeah, that's super cool. Yeah. And then you're one flat. Like, I'd like to do half and that and half and this. Okay, so no dad. Yeah, let's do this. I agree. I actually like the in the middle hat. Uh, dad is too traditional. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I feel like these are. Yeah, cool. yeah these are set. What colors on these? You like this one, maybe? I like this one. These two, huh? Yeah, I do too. I think these are the well. Because it's like not just like dad hat, you know what I mean? It has like a nice little flavor to it. So, um, so we're going to go with these two guys. Okay, what colors do you think of these? We can mix them up. We can, what are your colors here at the park? Like, what do you see as a black and white? Okay. We have a twin to go all the block, so like, it's like we, we change colors in here. Um, That's why this color looks like that. Yeah, color. yeah, I like that. So, I, I really like that. Uh, what do you think about this, Mama? Yeah. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, the two. So, the two. Yeah. Okay. And then what colors are you thinking? Um, the olive? Yeah, let's try it. Okay. You don't have to do all olive either. You can do olive, black. <laughs> so you're saying all olive of these guys? Yeah. Are you sure no black? Black, black is king, dude. I would. Yeah, I would do half. I would do black and olive. Same with this. I would do like 
this and why. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have Okay, go. Sounds good. So we're going to have your tag in here. Yeah, we're gonna have them bro. I can go without. No, I typically have them all. Okay, yeah, I'll have them bro in there. I like it. Yeah, we'll have them bro and then we'll have. And then, uh, so it's gonna have the bacon and eggs logo right here, right? I agree. Yeah, I like that one best. That one's best. Okay. Is there any way, so I'll, I don't mind paying extra, but put the, like, the park cafe over so here? Yeah, park cafe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just oh, yeah. like, show me what it looks like and I'll try it up. Yeah. yeah. So, do you want it straight up? We can try and do that logo condensed down. That'd be cool. Um, the logo can go back here and this, like really small, or if we can do it in verbiage like that. Yeah. So, verbiage or whatever you think you can look better. I like the, I mean, if you're I going, like logo, yeah, if you're cool. going brand, yeah, I would cool. go brand. Yeah, that'd be cool. You know what I mean? If anything, I like, your, like your little tag on the bottom, it just, it's like an extra. Oh my god, it's a nice I little love thing. it. Yeah. I love that little thing. Especially like with the bacon cool. and egg. You know what we should do? We should do bacon and eggs everything maybe and then that will still be on the back yeah or we go I think so. or we go part no, I like that way though yeah. and anything I do on the front I always put part that way on the back of the front you know what I'm saying they keep their prank and I mean being, I, I understand like the the, 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 the rotary and everything so yeah. you see how it looks Brand is everything. I bet if we did that, the part that's on the back, that'd be a nice one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. Cool. Done, Dada. Heck yeah. So then we'll do, I mean, you said 50 total, so we'll do 12, 12, 12, 12. 12, 12, 13, 13. Yeah, so we can do like, do 13, and this 13, and then 12 black, 12 black. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. What was I doing? Forty-eight. Oh yeah. Uh, that's how I typically order them. <laughs> well, that's how I typically do. I do some colors. Okay. Okay. And then, um, yeah. So yeah, I don't mind having a couple extra of these colors. Yeah. All right. No, these are sweet. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Come on, brother. Yeah, yeah, I'll get started on this ASAP. Um, I'm just trying to think. I'll put the prices together. It's going to be front and back hit, so I just got to see the same. Yeah, we'll we'll right. um, yeah. We'll do Love it. I appreciate you, my man. Man, there it is, just like that. You know, you reach out to people in your community. That's the word for you guys, man. Reach out to people in your community because you never know what what they'll say yes or no to you know what i mean i eat at this place all the time and i know i have something to offer so i just started talking to the owner one day and said man look i have this brand i have this company i'm not sure if it's something that you guys want or need but um if you guys just watched the meeting that we just had he picked a five panel unstructured hat that he really liked and then um he picked the cadet hat that he really liked and he ordered 50 of them. Now you do 50 times $19 and 50 cents a piece. Um, and that's the total, you know what I mean? And that's just off of, you know what I mean? Me being in my community, me eating at different places, me knowing what I offer and what I can offer to different people in my community. So I hope that's a word for you guys, man. If you guys have an embroidery business, if you guys have something that you can offer your community, start in your community. You don't have to be online. You don't have to run Facebook ads. You have to do none of that, man. You start in your community. You offer your brand, your service, your products in your own backyard because people in your own backyard will support and they will just give to you. So um, I'm going to end this video right here. 